Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing the Tavernum in Thiefenthal from Wolfgang Warsh. You may know him from such other hit board games as The Quacks of Quidlinburg, The Mind and a whole host of other things he's put out in the past year. And this is from Schmidt Games. So there's been a lot of talk about this game as of late and I've been very eager to get my hands on it and give it a go. Um, interesting thing to note that this game is a German edition. There isn't an English edition available yet, but I've been told it's language independent, so I just have to print out some rules. Um, but I'm so eager to try it, I thought, why not? So this is actually the first game I've bought in another language. So let's hop straight into this review. Okay, first things first, the box itself. Um, pretty standard square box, nothing overly special. Um, the artwork is nice, isn't it? I think it's, it's cute. It's, this game is obviously about taverns in this place called, you know, Thief and Tap. Um, so you can see inside the town and it's nice and glowy. It, 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 looks, it looks good, doesn't it? Okay, so we'll see what's on the back. Ooh, okay, so it is entirely in German. So as you can see, um, it looks like you're going to have kind of a, a tableau here. There are cards, some which look like patrons. There are dice, I like this very much. Um, it's for two to four players. It should take about 60 minutes to play. There's a gameplay video, but I assume it's in German. And so it's eight out of 10 for tactics, six out of 10 for luck, and for difficulty, it's a six out of 10. Okay. I really like how it looks set up. It really reminds me of something else. Maybe it'll come to me later when I see these cards. These cards look really familiar to me. Oh, it's um, Grand Austria Hotel. There's something about the, the dice on the bottom. Um, so yeah, let's get right inside it. So yeah, it's like your standard ticket to right size box. Okay, so this is the rule book and it's really wide. Like, look at this. Um, it's on nice paper. So I'm not going to judge it too much because it's in German. But I have a bit of German, enough that I think I could probably get away with playing cards and things like that. My version of Settlers of Catan and Spacefarers of Catan are both in German. Because that that's the place it was cheap to buy board games at the time. Yeah, this is nice and lit up. There's not much to this rule book. Like, look, you're changing cards, playing dice. Um, I love the colours. I love the way it's split up. And we're pretty much right at the end. So these are just all a list of the symbols. That looks good. And anything on the back? It does indeed have a back. So what you shouldn't forget. So the reminders and curts and lighting. So a short, shorthand setup. That's what I'm guessing at. It's a shame about the size, being the size of the box. And what else did we get? So it looks like some sort of reminder thing. So for different modules. Oh, there are different modules in the, and here's how to play with the different modules. Okie dokie, look at my German holding well to me. Okay, so first thing we're getting is some sheets. Oh, many sheets of cards. How many? <laughs> the game is entirely composed of sheets of cards. <laughs> okay, so let's go through them anyway. Rup. Well, yes, I'm already popping it out. So, it looks like part of a tavern, and you've got like people with dice on them, a cash register with money. Oh, and it's something different on the other side. Oh, interesting. So, if I flip it over, of course, that was going to fall out. Oh, yeah, so it's, it's different things. So, multi uses. As you can see, they're quite eager to fall out there. Um, what's the actual quality like? It's a good thing. It's very what I call standard German cardboard. You know the really hard stuff that you get in a lot of these games. I won't take out anything else, but it keeps falling out. Um, I really like the artwork. Actually, it's quite cute. It's endearing. Obviously, we're building a tavern. This place is for people to sit down. Got little people. Like signatures. Cool. There is a dog. That makes every game better. It's also something that looks like a light or a, a hot drink. <laughs> Who knows? So the first page of that. Okay, second page. Ooh, bigger things. Okay, so this one now has very giant beer mug that looks like it goes into other beer mug and becomes a marker. This one is also a marker. It's got like the moon on it. It's cool. More signatures, lots of signatures. These roundy things. They look like the things that have their dice on in the back of the box, so I like that. And then this down here looks like reminder boards. I bet they're player boards. Something to do with crowns and how much beer you have. Yet again, all really solid e cardboard. And the same on the back. Okay, next. So we've got more inside the inn. Oh, two more. These are quite stuck together. <laughs> Every time I touch it, it falls apart in my hands. Uh, this one. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to lose any of these small bits. 
I want to like sit, sit down and take my time to pop my more dog. I think it's like, it's pretty much identical, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same as the first one. Oh, there's a cat actually in the corner. There you go. Cat lovers don't feel left out. Some very dodgy man with a cart. I like where this is going. Okay, this one, which I've lost half of in the process picking up, is the same again. So it must be there for each player or something like that. You have these options. Now this one looks distinctly different. Ooh, look, it's got like an outside part. Um, I like that. So this has crowns on it. It looks like maybe where you keep track of your victory points. This one also has people on top. Like this is one big board and then there are two little boards. So obviously these people are worth different cups and stuff. All right. Okay, we have another one of the ta tavern. <laughs> yeah, it's really easy to pop out. And it looks like the board as well will fit together. You can see all the little like puzzle pieces that click together. Very cool. Okay, first things first. The inside of the box looks like a tavern. Can you guys see it? Look. See that? And all the people. That's just cool. I, I love when they make a bit of an effort. Also, we get a whole host of bags. Extra effort. So we have some wooden pieces and some wooden die. So let's go with the pieces first. It looks like you get one round thing for each colour. Please tell me the colours can't be that. Well, there's no blue cubes, so there's a, a round marker for each colour. Yeah, the colours are normal enough. God forbid you were colour blind. And then cubes. So yeah, good wooden fare. Usual stuff. Nice. Okay, I'd be disappointed with anything less from the Germans. They're like the masters of, of wooden tokens and hardy terrorboards. Okay, so that's it with the dice tonight. Light, light, you know, wooden dice as usual. And they roll okay, I'll take that. Um, it'll get more primary colours. And a whole host of just white ones. Now we get to the next bit. There are cards. Teeny tiny cards. Now it has the thing on it, so I shouldn't need my scissors. Do, do, do. Yeah, this is how I judge the quality of all my games. If I can unwrap them like this. Right, so the first deck of cards is giving us a lady. So she's like a two for two, you put two on her for two money, 10 virtue points maybe. I don't know, they're multiples of the same ones. Yeah, okay. This is all the same lady. Hmm. Wonder what that's about. Wonder why there's so many of the same. Is this the entire deck? No, not the entire deck, but a lot of very similar people, yep. So they want a six, something happens. Alright. As you can see they all have like abilities on them. I'm not sure where you're gonna play these, but obviously you're gonna play them somewhere. Then we've got like these special cards that seem to be you can have dice or beer or tables. Tables that Precious commodity. These are all unique, so beer, um, a cube, a die, and a beer. So obviously beer is important here. Get rid of people at tables, so must be, we must be serving people at their tables. Okay, that's cool. The cards are really nice quality, by the way. Of course, I didn't say that. They're, they're linen finished cards. They're nice. And they're small, and but they've got their own little side of the box to live in, so... You know, maybe that's good. Ah, kind of moves ever so slightly. That's fine. So what's the next deck of cards going to give us? Here we go. Oh, I love these things when I don't need scissors. Okay, so this one is just like a table. We have many tables. Oh, and then we have a person. So a four plus a one for one victory point. If I knew how to play this game, this might mean more. Um, but the art is cool and it looks like it's going to be a fun kind of dice management -y game, doesn't it? I really like the, the whole depiction of this. It's really quite nice. I like how... I don't know if traditional it is, is that a good word for it? It's a good vibe. So there we go, more cards. Will they also fit? Yes they will. And then the last deck of cards. I assume these are going to be more people on cards. It seems to be where the people are coming from. Which is good. Okay, so in case I actually didn't show you the back of the cards. Anybody's interested? Can't figure out what way around. It's, it's kind of all floral and pretty. Okay, so now we have a minstrel! <laughs> uh, a cube, so we have minstrel cards. What's the next type? I don't know, man eating bread and cheese. One one point, okay. Really nice cards. Did this tablecloth just change? Yes, it's t the tablecloths are in different colours. Alright then, and then somebody purple. So maybe the colour of their of the tablecloth matters. Or maybe it just matches in the photo, I don't know. More high pointy things. Yeah, I'm very curious to see how they all go. I'm proud to say it does definitely look language independent. 
Ah. Normally I would wait for the English version of the game to come out, but I just, I was so excited by this one. I'm a big fan of Wolfgang Watson's games. They've been super good. In general, I kind of like the old Wolf, Wolfgangs. All right, so let's put this all back in. What did you guys think? I think this looks super fun. I really can't wait to get playing with it. Look at the cover. The cover is just, it's kind of heartwarming. I know, it looks inviting anyway. I hope you like the look of it as much as I did. So you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and I've just unboxed the Tavernen im Thiefenthal from Wolfgang Warsh and Schmidt Games. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, why not think about, you know, maybe liking or subscribing to the channel or telling a person I exist because, you know, the more the merrier. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.